This was once a totem's town, a metropolitan's town, but since the Kraken have been released, Seattle's all about the sea monsters. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Predators take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And he keeps possession and makes the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. O'Reilly's won the draw there on the attack. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Scoops up the puck. Dishes it off. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck across to Yossi. The Kraken have it in their own zone. Seattle's crossed the line and on the attack. Oh, devastating collision lined up in the railroad tracks. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Moves the puck across to Veneers. a wrist shot. That goes off a twig. Hard hit frees up the puck. Nashville's playing it through center. And now he moves it to Stevenson. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. Shot! Oh, what a stop by Seros. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Best down, best down. Stevenson's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Off the post! Oh, a great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the fight gets in the way, and it says, not today. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Feeds it over! Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. stick on the poke check. Picked up along the boards by Evangelista. Slides it across. Intercepted the pass. Alexiak's carrying it ahead. To his teammate. And he keeps that one out. Takes the feed. There's another consecutive save. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. More than half the period has expired. The game is still scoreless. Wright's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. That's blocked by Saros. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Wright's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. Receives the pass. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Quick pass to McCarron. Takes the field. He Never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Seattle's finally pushed through, and they get the first goal here late in period number one. Sometimes at the end of a period, you know the intermission is coming, you know you're getting rest, and all of a sudden the tempo and the urgency increases, and that's what I saw this last shift, and the reason they scored that goal. The Predators will play the puck from behind the net. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by the ears. Loses the coverage. 
charge there. They've got some momentum here. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Hey, fans, we have a car on the east lot with its lights on. FSV 4494. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Saro's given his team a chance here to get the W, and the only reason why it's close is because of him. You know, the way he's been dialed in, right from puck drop, cutting down his angles and redirecting rebounds, he's been just awesome. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And it's a quick pass to Yossi. He carries the puck up along the wing. Huge steal in his own end. Seattle's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. We've got to find a way to generate some offense. Shen's lugging the puck. Good hit. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Quick feed down low, and he slides it quickly to Lozov. Drills him. Good save. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Seattle's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Stamkos setting up against the wall. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Stevenson. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. He's got a little jump. Flips it across. Oh, beautiful save on the play. And you got to love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender is so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. Seattle's ahead, 1-0. Stevenson's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Now a quick pass to Tolman and shot. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Good use of the body on the play. Scrum along the wall. Puck exits the zone. a tougher play than it looks James you have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it not a lot of time and space available but he executes perfectly here in the back half of this period the next goal could be a big one as we are tied Seattle's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. A field, and he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over. 
over to Sissons. The Kraken have taken possession of their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Looks to make a play over to Corgan. And that's taken away in the offensive end. They score! A clutch goal gives them the lead. Well, it's very timely, isn't it, James? To give them the lead and also the confidence that they've shown these past few shifts have led to that opportunity. In today's game, so many goaltenders are butterfly goalies, and he is no different as he drops into the butterfly, looking to get his arms up quick enough, but he can't. The shooter just whistles one up high. Nashville's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. Handles the pass. Fires it on net. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Seattle's in now. Reaches out and uses the stick. Here's a shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Long pass into the neutral zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Dumps it in. And he takes the pass. Moves it to Shen. The Predators work it through center. McCarran's got it along the wing. Scores! Just before the period closes, Cheryl, absolutely huge. The last few minutes of a period are essential, and they go to the dressing room with needed momentum. Well, it's going to be a quick release that gets it done here, James, but I'm more impressed with him getting to position. you got to fight to get to those areas. It's tough in there. You pay the price, and because he does, he scores a goal. The Predators deliver an absolute backbreaker with that goal here late in the second. Well, it certainly adds a buffer to that one goal lead, doesn't it? And it certainly changes the mind frame. What it can change is the way that they're playing. They got to keep the foot on the gas here and get themselves to the intermission. And a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two. And there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. And this one's underway here in the third. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Big time stop there. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Nashville's got the puck in the defensive end. Here we go, pucks in deep. Marchessault is looking to make something happen here in the corner. And now it's grabbed by McCann. Larson's got the puck in his own zone. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Penalty coming up here. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And they win the defensive zone face-off. Here's the clearing attempt. The Kraken have the puck on the attack. Takes the shot. Oh, what a club save by Saros. You see goaltenders working with traffic and practice all of the time, and the goaltender is able to find this because he's dialed in, his eyes are on the puck, and he doesn't lose sight of it. Sisson slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nashville's got it in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Sissons. 
The Kraken have taken over in the neutral zone. Cross corner dump in. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Lozon's moving the puck through his own zone. Dumps the puck in. Seattle's got the puck along the boards. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Fires it! And he gets just enough to keep it out. Saros has looked really comfortable and dialed in in the crease tonight, James. He's calm, he's composed, he's made the saves he's needed to. But his team has played excellent in front of him and created a ton of scoring chances, a reason why they have a healthy lead. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. That's a great job by the PK unit, James. Late in the game when they're up by one and they close and shut it down. Awesome job by everyone to figure out how to get it down the ice and kill some valuable seconds. Gets a piece of it with the trapper. The Predators gain possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Everly. Here we go on man rush. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Yossi. Gaining momentum up along the side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick pass across to McCann. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Skates to the crease. Too much congestion in front. Novak's got it in the offensive end. Keeps a hold of it on the play. And that one's turned away. Scores! Break out the quad chair on the ski lift because that's well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. Nashville's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Sends a pass over. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Take it along the wall by Marcheseau. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. And the puck's not loose. Taken by Favreau. Quick feed to O'Reilly. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Forsberg. Sends the pass in front. Puts it the post. Scores! What a goal! This play does not have without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want. And he capitalizes perfectly. The Predators continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Quick shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Shea. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Quick pass to Tobin. And on the attack along the boards. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Bjorkstrand. Handles the puck. 
great use of the swing as he pokes that one away. Shooters are so strong today on that cross crease pass. You got to be able to read, anticipate that it's coming, and he does it perfectly. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Success in the face-off circle tonight certainly didn't translate into the scoreboard, Cheryl. Well, I want to look at the stats of where the face-offs were as well, James. Neutral zone face-offs just aren't quite the same as offensive zone ones and finding ways to create opportunities with the puck that you just win. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.